In America, everyone counts, and the 2020 census is how that great promise is kept. Respond today online, by phone, or by mail, and help inform hundreds of billions in funding for education, health programs, and more. Shape your future. Start at 2020census.gov. All right, folks, according to a recent election prediction model developed by the George Washington University Graduate School of Political Management, former Vice President Joe Biden will win November's presidential election. Once that is accomplished, what's in it for black folks? Vice President Biden recently announced Lift Every Voice, the Biden plan for black America. Also on yesterday, uh, he released a series of ads targeting African-Americans. If y'all could get those ads ready, I would appreciate it. Joining me right now uh, is South Carolina State Senator Marlon Kempson. Senator Kempson, glad to have you on the show. Good to be with you, Roland. South Carolina, obviously, is going to be a huge uh, state. Yesterday, we had Jamie Harrison on the show. He is running, of course, against uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, trying to unseat him. Democrats need to pick up four seats in the Senate to take control of the United States Senate. Uh, but when it comes to uh, African Americans, uh, the plan that Biden has, does it actually address the concerns of African Americans, folks who are saying they want to see uh, real strong results, uh, real initiatives uh, when it comes to our needs? I, I, I think it does. Um, with all plans, uh, you can always improve upon the plan. But I have uh, reviewed the Lift Every Voice and Sing plan and the racial equity component of the Build Back America plan that was crafted with the input of many uh, who've been at the table advocating for economic parity and true criminal justice reform. Uh, those uh, such as Jim Clyburn, uh, Maxine Waters, and others have been doing this for a long time now, and so they had substantial input. Uh, for me, uh, the challenge being in a red state uh, is about money. Uh, politics without economics is a symbol without substance. And when I review this plan, it has real money in here for black America. A hundred billion dollar housing, affordable housing fund, a fifty billion dollar uh, investment in incubator uh, businesses for people that look like us, uh, seventy billion dollars. Uh, I think you can appreciate this, Roland. Uh, going towards historically black colleges. I'm a graduate of Morehouse College, uh, pledged Omega Psi Phi, and so we are. Uh, that down right much. there. You may just may want to calm that down, but go ahead. <laughs> we are, uh, you know, we need research institutions. And so we look at the money, the money follows. Now, let's talk about criminal justice reform, because that's been the subject uh, of a lot of the discussion here tonight. Your, your guests have all been right. This is about appointing uh, people of color to the federal bench who have an appreciation for the Voting Rights Act and the other civil rights initiatives that many of our ancestors and people before me in the state Senate fought for. And the fact is, is that uh, the plurocrat Don Trump has not uh, named any significant people of color uh, to judiciary positions. He's been able to confirm more than 200 judges who will interpret, uh, if we get a voting rights bill passed, they will interpret that bill. And that means trouble uh, for all of the cries that you hear uh, for greater reform in terms of uh, criminal justice reform, police misconduct, uh, voting rights. And so uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have a comprehensive plan for criminal justice reform. They call to uh, let's look at our drug offenses and laws, call for an independent uh, or uh, ending of mandatory minimums, um, they want to ban the box so that people coming out of prison uh, won't have to answer job applications. That first question is, have you ever been arrested or have you ever been convicted? And so these are the types of the initiative teeth when we start talking about criminal justice reform. I'll just finally say this. Uh, one of the things that we really have to look at when it comes to the shooting deaths and litigating these civil cases, I'm an attorney by trade, uh, partner at Motley Rice in Charleston, South Carolina. And 
One of the things that halts uh, these trials uh, is uh, the issue of qualified immunity. Uh, and then uh, where an officer can't be personally held liable. Uh, as a lawyer, I can personally be held liable in a courtroom should I act grossly negligent. Uh, that's not so the case in qualified immunity. Uh, and then once you even get beyond that, you have the doctrine of sovereign immunity, which often caps damages uh, in the absence of proof of gross negligence. So we have to have a wholesale attack uh, as we move forward with the black agenda. And I think the Lift Every Voice sing and Sing plan and the racial equity component of the Build Back Better plan addresses as many of our, 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 our needs. Uh, this is an ad that was released yesterday by the Joe Biden campaign. We want to play it, then we'll talk about it. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. But they've got the experience. I'm still in shock three or four years later that we're in this position now. Our democracy is at a pivotal point. From the top, we don't trust our government. We see the trouble we're in economically. We've got 170,000 Americans dead, and yet this president will do anything he can to make it seem like things are better than they are. I did more for the black community than anybody with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> it's our responsibility. If we don't lead that effort to make things better, we can't ask other people to do it. There is no good reason not to vote. Right, we need to have individuals that are in office like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They are our best shot to take us forward. And that's what makes me incredibly hopeful, but we really do have to work for this thing. To the thousands who did not vote, we need you to show up for our future and for our country. You cannot sit on the sidelines. You gotta get in the game. Was pretty funny uh, in that uh, ad, state senator, as, the, as as those brothers in that barbershop laughed to hear Donald Trump say what he how he's done more for black people since Abraham Lincoln, uh, which is just beyond stupid. It, it is a uh, it's a fantasy, and this guy is in a fantasy world. As I mentioned earlier, he is an orange plutocrat who only caters to the wealthy. Uh, he has done nothing for black people. Uh, and we got to call. We got to call him out. We cannot afford, particularly for African American men, to register the numbers that they did the last election cycle. I think people were trying to give him a bit of a doubt, but he has shown his true color. Uh, this man uh, is the reason why this nation is in crisis. This man is the reason why that there are over 200,000 deaths due to COVID. You compare that number with Ebola. A uh, handful of deaths, or H1N1, a uh, couple of thousand deaths, I think under uh, 5,000. Uh, this man has stoked the uh, fuel of white supremacists. I mean, who would have ever thunk it? Who would have ever thunk it that we have people in Charlottesville, Virginia, walking down with tiki torches talking about white power? I mean, this is. You know, this is ridiculous. And he says that there are good people on both sides. And so, if anything, uh, the black community, including our brothers and sisters, we ought to be voting in large numbers. The exhibit A, B, and C is the record of the dismal failure of Donald Trump uh, governing this country. Now, let me just say this also. Uh, the brother talked about voting. Uh, you know, in that shot talk special, uh, what I've discussed with many, including Congressman Clyburn, who is calling for a month of voting, like a tailgate party. We're going to have a tailgate party uh, for a whole month. In, in South Carolina, it starts early voting or absentee voting starts October 5th. Uh, I would encourage people not so much to rely on the mail. Right. Uh, but, but take your ballot to the polling place, particularly in those states that have early or absentee voting, to make sure that ballot is counted. All right, then. Sir, well, you certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much uh, for joining us. Uh, State Senator uh, Marlon uh, Clemson uh, will uh, keep um, uh, pushing the, the need for people to, uh, to get registered and be sure to vote in this election. Thank you, Roland. Uh, thank you so very much. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment.
Seat.com is a black-owned company uh, founded by Mary Spiel. They have these amazing products. They have a, their virtual reality headset uh, right here. allows for you to take your uh, cell phone, pop it right into here. You can watch their virtual reality content on their site, Seat.com. You can also, of course, watch other 360-degree video, uh, and it puts you right there in the same space. So that's this particular headset. They also have their 360-degree 4D headphones, folks, which are uh, great for you to be able uh, to uh, uh, get, do gaming. You can also, of course, use it for music, uh, for videos as well. Uh, it's uh, it's a really it's a really solid. Um, uh, solid deal here. I, I love these headphones. Uh, again, when I'm able to, uh, when I'm walking and uh, working out and doing things along those lines. And so uh, you want to ch check this out. Again, these headphones right here, which are pretty cool. Go to seek.com, C E E K.com. Use the promo code RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020. And then you'll get a discount on one or both of these products. And so we certainly appreciate Seek. Uh, dot com being a partner with Roland Martin Unfiltered.